All right, Fear on Fiona out in Mokina. This is another annual one for us. Big yard display. What'd you think this year? Yeah. Oh, it's always great. I mean, I, I love Fear on Fiona. It's a good, good yard display. It's one of the big ones we go to every year. And um, they still they had a lot of the same stuff. I like the Frankenstein and Bride of Frankenstein. And I noticed they had a zombie area, like a probably like a Walking Dead. With they had like a fenced in area with zombies. Yes, that was. It new. says do not feed the zombies. That was kind of cute and clever. Um, they had Chucky and Bride of Chucky in the window. And I like this little alligator that they have. It's cute. I actually took a picture of it. It's cute. Uh, it's along the sidewalk near the house. And um, they also have the. The, the cool thing is the crematorium. They have the, the casket with the crematorium. It's a little different. And now they have an autopsy area in the garage that's kind of blocked off, but you can look in. And they've got, actually, it's, it's I don't know if it's a fish tank with filters, but they actually got water and, and, and like, it bubbles like a brain and, stuff. and bubbles yeah, and everything. It looks really cool. That's cool. Yeah, I like that. Very cool. So, I mean, this is another one I look forward to every year. It's a great yard display. If you're out in that area, you know, go check it out. I recommend it. One thing we like about Fiora Fiona is consistency. You can always go there and know it's going to be consistently good. And this year, surprisingly, it was still very good, but things were moved around quite a bit this year. This is the first time I've seen significant movement in where things were placed. For instance, Frankenstein and the Bride of Frankenstein, they're usually right out in front of the house. Not on the big portion of the yard, but the, the yard that's separated by the sidewalk. But this time they were over on the right hand or left hand side of the display where normally Hannibal's butcher shop is. There's, there's a Hannibal butcher shop one where he's there every single year. And the crematorium, they were over on that side to make room for the zombie enclosure that Laura was talking about. And also, they have Reagan uh, from The Exorcist on a spinning... Her, her head spins around. She's on a bed. She's usually more in the background towards the center. Now she's up towards the front, and there's a giant UFO in the center. The UFO is usually on the far right, but this time it takes center stage this time. And a lot of the same stuff was there, but for some reason it felt like there was less there this year. I don't know why. That was just my own Maybe feeling. Maybe it was just because it was rearranged. It probably was the rearrange, the rearranging. The saw guy's still there on the tricycle. He comes out of his little mm -hmm. saw house, yeah, which is pretty cool. cool. And the windows are decorated. Even the front door. The, if you look through the front door, there's this giant sort of tiki idol with a scary face. And, and that's pretty cool, too. And you look, if you look way up high, there's a guy dressed like a preacher on the top of the the house very very top the apex of the center of the house so there's a lot there i really enjoy fear on fiona it's classic if you're in that area be sure you go see it it's a four out of five for me oh, now i'm burping <laughs> it's that great food i just had i'm gonna believe that in too <laughs> extra chainsaw for the food extra <laughs> That's right. They got some really good food over there. I really am leaving that in. Anyway.